Commissions. This might be the most important word in real estate, at least for agents. Commissions are how you get paid, so you probably want to be good at figuring them out. Maybe that's even why you're here. You saw the price of a house, you worked out the agent split, then said, I want some of that. In addition to being helpful in actual practice, there's a good chance that your real estate exam will have a commission problem or two. Let's look at a few examples of how to solve commission problems, starting with an easy one that is very common in real life. A seller has agreed to pay a 5% commission. How much will the seller pay if the house sells for $200,000? To find a basic commission, multiply the sales price by the commission rate. Sales price times commission rate equals commission paid. Remember to turn 5% into a number you can use. The decimal for 5% is 0 0.05. Now substitute the numbers from the problem into our formula. 200,000 times 0 0.05 equals 10,000. Of course, the exam is not always going to give you the same information to work with. Here's how to solve a commission problem where you are given the selling price of a property and the commission that was paid, and you need to figure out the commission rate. A house is listed for $200,000. The seller pays $10,000 commission on the sale. What commission rate did the seller agree to pay? To find the commission rate, you'll use commission paid divided by sales price equals commission rate. Plug the numbers from the problem into our formula and you get $10,000 divided by $200,000 equals 0 0.05. To convert your answer to a percentage, multiply it by 100 and you get 5%. Remember that as a salesperson, you'll be working under the authority of a broker. More often than not, your broker will pay you a share of the total commission earned from a sale. This is what we call a split. A split may be expressed in different ways, but splits always add up to 100%. For the next problem, let's use a 60-40 split, 60% 60 going to you and 40% going to the broker. You represent a buyer who follows through with the purchase of a home. Your firm receives a $20,000 commission. Nice job by you. Your agreement with the broker is to receive 60% of the commission as compensation. How much will you take home? To find your split, you use the following formula. Commission amount times percentage share equals commission amount share. You are receiving 60% of the commission. 60% in decimal form is 0.6. Plug the numbers from the problem into our formula and you end up with $20,000 times 0.6 equals $12,000. Now that you've got the hang of it, let's try some practice problems. Practice question number one. Suppose a $30,000 commission is earned on the sale of a house. The listing broker and the buyer's broker agreed to split the commission evenly. The listed salesperson receives 40% of the listing side. How much will the listing salesperson receive? A, $15,000, B, $10,000, C, $6,000, or D, $3,000. When two brokers cooperate on a sale, they're often referred to as the listing side and the buyer side. In this particular question, you must also know that split evenly means that each side gets half of the total commission. Start by multiplying the commission by 50%. Since the listing and buyer side are splitting the commission evenly, $30,000 times 0.5 equals $15,000. The listing side receives a $15,000 commission. The salesperson gets 40% of that, $15,000 times 0.4 equals $6,000. The answer is C, $6,000. A variation of this question uses the same information, but asks you what the listing broker's share was. Since the salesperson gets 40%, the broker gets the other 60%. 100% minus 40% equals 60%. Now use the listing side's $15,000 commission to figure out the broker split. $15,000 times 0.6 equals $9,000. Practice question number two. A house sold for $950,000 with a sales commission rate of 7.5%. The listing broker receives 50% of the total commission, and the broker representing the buyer receives 50%. How much would the salesperson representing the buyer receive if the broker kept 60% and gave 40% to the salesperson? A, $35,600. B, $14,250. C, 
C, $71,250, or D, $21,700. First, we have to figure out the total commission, which is 7.5% of $950,000. We get this by converting the percentage to a decimal and multiplying. 0 0.075 times 950,000 equals 71,250. With the total commissions of 71,250, the selling and listing broker split commission 50-50. Each side gets 50%. So first we need the listing side split. 71,250 times 0.5 equals $35,625. The salesperson gets 40% of that, which is $35,625 times 0.4 equals $14,250. The answer is B, $14,250. Practice question number three. What is the selling price of a property if Arthur paid $350 for taxes due, has a $12,500 mortgage, paid a 6% broker commission, and netted $7,000 on the sale? A, $22,546.77. B, $21,117.02. $1 C, $22,117.02, or D, $22,647.06. First, add the outstanding mortgage taxes due and net profit. $12,500 plus $350 plus $7,000 equals $19,850. $19,850 is 94% of the selling price, with the broker's 6% commission equaling the rest. To find the selling price, simply divide the known quantity by the percentage relative to the selling price. $19,850 divided by 0.94 equals $21,117.02. The answer is B. $21,117.02. To double check this, you can multiply the answer by 6% for the broker's commission and subtract your answer from the sales price. Practice question number four. A property is listed for $212,000, but due to a bidding war, it sells for $219,000. The commission is set at 6% and split evenly between the buyer and seller's broker. The selling agent has an agreement with his broker to receive 75% of the split paid to the broker. What is the amount the seller's agent receives after closing? A, $4,927.50. B, $4,770.25. C, $9,855.75. Or D, $9,540. First, let me point out that the $212,000 is irrelevant. This is called a red herring. It is information provided by the question that is not useful in answering the question. Do not fall for that trap. We start solving this problem by finding out what 6% of $219,000 is. $219,000 times 0.06 equals $13,140. The problem mentions that the commission is split evenly between the two brokers. Each side gets 50%. $13,140 times 0 0.5 equals $6,570. And finally, we need to figure out the agent split, which is 75% of $6,570. $6,570 times 0 0.75 equals $4,000. $927.50. The answer is $4,927.50. I hope this helps you understand commission problems a little better. This is Joe from Prep Agent, reminding you to keep it concise and keep it simple. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated videos. And if you're serious about passing your real estate exam, go to prepagent.com.